Hello, my name is Glenn Cavassi and I'm the curator of BreedingInsects.com and author of the Complete Cricket, Cockroach and Mealworm Breeding Guides. I'm here today just to give you a bit of a uh, walkthrough of our uh, Complete Cricket Breeding Guide. Uh, we've got a, a brand new online format uh, which has is a great format um, which has a login and it basically has uh, text, photos and videos. Uh, our Complete Breeding Manual uh, was uh, written 12 years ago and at the time and still is the most comprehensive uh, book about breeding crickets. Uh, we have uh, methods about breeding uh, crickets commercially and we also have our own proprietary methods for small scale hobbyists uh, which has a lot uh, much less maintenance than uh, the conventional method. Um, we have been breeding insects for 14 years and we've been breeding commercially to um, pet zoos and wildlife rescue and we do multiple species. We do crickets, mealworms, uh, cockro cockroaches and giant worms. Uh, but today we're here about the uh, complete cricket breeding guide um, and also just want to add that this, this is uh, just a very start of our online um, platform which is basically a membership site uh, which has just so much content. We're going to be adding so many more videos and things um, but anyway we'll get stuck into it and we'll just have a, a quick walk through and so you, you understand what the, the book is all about. You just go to breedingsex.com and in here we've got the learning center and uh, there's, there's a log in there um, once you've purchased the book. And um, so we'll just log in here and then it just basically takes you to your account page where your subscriptions are. And here uh, there's different uh, subscriptions. Uh, we've got a cricket and combo, a cricket and cockroach combo deal, we've got a cockroach book, a complete cricket breeding book, a mealworm pest management book, a mealworm breeding book, sustainable food stocks, uh, stock feeds. So today we're going to look at the complete cricket breeding manual. Um, and, and here it is. And so there's just a, a, a bunch of links here. And for instance, um, you can just click on here. Um, this is the forward, how we started out, our tra insect training services, our consultancy and partnerships program. Uh, this partnership program is really, really uh, uh, great for people who uh, just want to get started and don't know what to do. Um, this is for commercial, commercial people. Uh, we give our expertise out and in return, the partner gives um, uh, their costings and their production rates, etc. just as so information sharing, etc., etc. And um, so this goes through, and then we've got a video section. This section here is really, um, really great. Uh, we're going to add a lot more at the moment. We've got a general techniques, uh, which is heating and basic food and water dispensers. And then uh, this is, we've got two methods. We've got a small scale hobbyist. Um, it can actually be a small scale commercial as well. It's called the Sega Substrate System. And we have materials, materials for that and on and how to build it. And just to give an example of how it works, I mean, obviously it's just your video. And um, we... So the materials that you need to build. And rid of the YouTube ad. And these are the materials here, it's some fairly basic materials. But this method is uh, low maintenance, much, much better uh, than the conventional cricket breeding system. Great for people who just want to uh, build a um, something that's just going to feed a bit of dragon or so. Um, and then we have a, a larger commercial system, which is your standard system. Most people spraying substrate will use a um, batch system, but we've got a lot of detail on that. Uh, but anyway, so they're, they're the videos, um, and then just to go through a little bit more, uh, each section here, we've got an introduction, um, which breeding system do I use, the benefits, uh, cricket biology, species, anatomy, and um, biology, so just to give you an example, um, so there you go, so they're the species, um, the anatomy, biology and behavior, uh, and that's, that's that one. And, and then for instance, uh, another one, contain design and construction. So you can see we've got, <coughs> excuse me, choosing container, lids, ventilation. Actually, we'll just open it up. Um, so, uh, we've got choosing the container, we've got lids, we've got ventilation, how to make sure it works properly, 
uh, feeding port, which um, means you don't actually have to open the lid, which is great if you've got compact shelving, with, um, so you don't have to you can add more containers. And then we've got a dual screening system, which is essential for microflies. If you don't have that, um, you'll be devastated by those. We learned that the hard way. And kind of set up um, how to make a cricket container. We go through step by step on how to build it um, with you know um, step by step instructions and tips uh, with a lot of detail to give you all the detail that you need to build this. Um, uh, a well-designed and and sturdy uh, container, um, and then yeah, so it goes on, and I won't go through them all because it'll take forever. Uh, but that's the food. Uh, so that was actually making, sorry, uh, that was container design, and the same thing for food and water requirements. We've got you know, dry food, nutrient, nutrition and processing, dusting. As you can see, it's very comprehensive. Um, how to how to make food dispensers. Um, very detailed. Again, each one of these has um, tables and diagrams. And then we're going to heating and storage, so heating, humidity, heating systems, estimating heating costs. Um, and we also have then pest maintenance and pest management. Uh, this is a very uh, important uh, module. Uh, without it, uh, you probably won't succeed in crickets for very long. Um, so this is the maintenance section. Um, uh, how, to, how to do things very quickly, uh, which is important for a commercial production. And then we've got sections on microflies, um, general diseases, and ants. Uh, the microfly section is, uh, we'll go into detail when we go into the commercial section. Uh, that refers to section 10.5. So if we go to 10.5, actually, we'll go back one step. So that's Maintenance and pest management. Then we've got commercial production. So we've got grading, estimating, packaging, economics, marketing, uh, your markets and your common mistakes. And then we have um, the two methods, which is your small scale commercial, uh, which is what I was showing you was uh, with the videos. Um, so this system is um, very low maintenance, about three minutes every week, uh, which is a lot better than spraying every day. And only one container, not seven containers. So uh, and we've been using a system for set, uh, for 14 years and it's uh, been working very, very reliably. Uh, produces one pet store container of crickets per week. Um, so if you could imagine um, just one container from a pet store, that's what it'll generate each week, which is generally enough for a bit of dragon or something. And you can fit around about 16 of these into a shelving, um, like just a three, three meter wall. Um, so you can produce a lot of crickets from a very small space. And um, then we've got large scale cricket um, breeding, a very detailed system. Um, so it's your normal conventional system where you spray, um, but we've got lots of tips on how to streamline it. We cover it in great, great detail. But we will have a look at it because I want to show you the pest section, the, uh, section 10.5. Um, <clears throat> if we, so, just to give an example, it gives you, breaks down all the components, uh, the advantages, how to set it all up, um, the incubation chamber, uh, doing a larger scale incubation chamber, how to build it, um, and how to build a pinheads container, how to build the feeding, tr uh, the feeding trays for the pinheads, um, and so on, so on. But uh, what I want to show you is, is the management, the, the actual um, microflies, uh, which nearly devastated our, our uh, business. And so basically these little flies, uh, if you don't have the right screening, which is that screening I showed earlier, will just take over your breeding trays and will, become, will basically consume them. So you really need to, it's essential you know how to do this and also uh, mites. We don't cover mites specifically in this version, we will later, um, but I'm developing a mites um, uh, course with our mealworm. Uh, we're doing a, a mealworm book and I'll have mites covered in that. Um, but uh, the main pests here, uh, ants and uh, microflies are covered in, in great detail. And yeah, so you can see a lot of detail in here. And um, and then there's other 
other resources we've just got how many crickets can I produce that's actually a um, uh, something on our website breedingsex.com uh, which will outline um, how many crickets you can produce in a given area so you can view that in your own time um, and this one same fine for mealworms how many mealworms can I produce and then we also give um, an actual look at the cockroach green guide just so that if you want to see uh, the cockroach guide and that's you know equally equally comprehensive and um, you can actually purchase uh, purchase these um, these books um, if I can just go we'll have it at, in our shop but at the moment I've got it somewhere else um, you can purchase them with our our products page or, or our shop page and um, we've got the online and the paperback version so that's the cricket uh, that's the cockroach and then we both have cricket and cockroach so you get both and we call that the combo deal and um, we're in the process of doing mealworms this one's going to be very much web, um, video based uh, moving away a little from text a little bit and going more on videos um, but that's coming up very shortly but um, uh, as you can see quite a comprehensive um, series and we'll also be doing as I mentioned for um, pests for mealworms which will include mites and um, and and moths and a whole bunch of things which um, can affect mealworms uh, and we'll also be doing one on commercial production so we've uh, one of our projects was renovating a six meter caravan or a 20, 20 foot caravan um, and we'll show you how to build it um, how to set it up for monitoring maintenance ventilation aeration heating cooling etc uh, what else we got um, yeah that's pretty much what we've got on the cards um, anyway if you're interested um, we'll uh, depending on where you got this this link there may be a discount code otherwise you can just purchase it from uh, from our shopping cart and um, I hope it was um, uh, valuable just to have a look through our, our course and um, hope it's of some use to you um, yeah we've been doing it for 14 years and you know there's insect breeding is a school of hard knocks if you don't uh, get the right information you spend a lot of time many many years um, hitting your head against a brick wall learning how to and getting devastated by pests so um, definitely worth getting the right information and, and we we do have um, the most comprehensive information out there so we hope that's useful to you and um, uh, and also too if you are serious about doing commercial we might uh, be able to do a partnership program we've got um, in our commercial section up here um, we've got a partnerships program uh, that you can have a look at where is it projects um, oh that's right consulting partnerships if you go to that page there um, and we can talk to you about uh, partnering with you and helping you uh, become a commercial insect breeding business um, anyway, that's it for today, so thanks for watching.